Okay, in this example, uh, we're given uh, the formula for a linear function uh, named f. Uh, so this formula is uh, 2 fifths x uh, plus 4 fifteenths. And what we want to do here is find the x-intercepts of this uh, function. Uh, so now the x-intercepts of a function are uh, sometimes also referred to as the zeros of the function, or sometimes they're called the roots of the function. And uh, recall now, uh, the x-intercepts are the numbers along the uh, x-axis uh, where the graph of the function crosses uh, the x-axis. So uh, that geometric interpretation of uh, the x-intercepts is uh, useful in um, helping us find the x-intercepts um, because um, where a graph crosses the x-axis, uh, the matching y-coordinate uh, for those uh, uh, points is going to be zero. Uh, so that tells us that we can find the x-intercept um, or x-intercepts of a function, uh, whether it's a linear function or not, um, just by setting the output uh, from the function to uh, zero. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to set um, f of x to zero uh, in our function formula. And um, that results in an equation. Uh, zero is equal to 2 fifths x plus 4 fifteenths. And um, the solutions to this equation then will be the uh, x-intercepts um, for uh, our function. So let's see if we can solve uh, this uh, equation. So now there are several actual uh, paths here you can take to uh, solving this equation uh, that are equally correct. Um, I'm going to start here, however, by uh, subtracting 4 fifteenths uh, first from uh, both sides um, of the equation. So that's one way you can proceed. And um, if I do that, then I'll get um, uh, 2 fifths x uh, is equal to uh, minus uh, 4 fifteenths. And now I'm going to try to uh, isolate x on the right-hand side of the equation by multiplying uh, both sides of the equation by the reciprocal here of the coefficient of x. Uh, and that would be 5 halves. So I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by uh, 5 halves. So on the right-hand side of the equation, when we multiply uh, 2 fifths x times 5 halves, well, you can multiply these coefficients together, the 2 fifths times the 5 halves. And uh, in that case, the 5s will divide out and the 2s will divide out. And so um, you'll end up with just x uh, on the right-hand side of the equation. Now, on the left-hand side, let's multiply these two fractions uh, together. Uh, first, uh, we're multiplying a positive fraction times a negative fraction, so the sign is going to be negative. So let me take care of that first. And of course, we multiply fractions together by uh, multiplying the numerators together and multiplying the denominators together. Um, so, so when I multiply 5 halves here times uh, minus 4 fifteenths, I'm going to get minus, and then 5 times 4 in the numerator of the product and then 2 times 15 in the denominator of the product. Now I can go ahead and multiply 5 times 4 and uh, 2 times 15. Uh, those products are not difficult to calculate. Um, but before I actually do the multiplication, let's go ahead and uh, uh, reduce this fraction uh, because uh, 2 divides into 4 uh, 2 times, and uh, 5 divides into uh, 15 3 times. So uh, that allows me to reduce um, this product without actually having to carry uh, without actually having to carry out any of the calculations, and so we see here that this product on the left hand side of this equation is going to be uh, minus two thirds. So um, that's the x-intercept uh, for my function. Um, uh, if we make a graph of this linear function, it's going to cross the x-axis at at uh, minus two thirds. Or um, another way to think of this is uh, if we calculate f of uh, minus 2 thirds, uh, the matching output uh, will turn out to be uh, 0.